The first game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Grambling State Tigers and the Utah State Aggies. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Aggies should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First of all, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Second, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Finally, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. He takes the shot off the baseline. Great shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Pushing that basketball. Robs him with the ball. And the ball goes out of play. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The center gets the ball. There's a double team waiting there. The point guard gets the pass. And up and sinks it. That one's definitely worth a second look, Brad. charge that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression the center with the ball he fakes the shot and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot oh and you talk about a happy group of fans listen to this crap oh there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Trying to go inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. And the ball goes out of bounds. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Dumps it in. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Let's go back and watch that basket again. Shots there if he wants it. Puts up the tray. He gets the shot to fall. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He puts it in with contact and all.
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Trying to feed inside for two. Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. On the outside, Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw the foul. The lay -in. Puts the ball loose. And the slam. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Dump it inside. The center takes the feed. Looking for a good shot. The frustration right there. They look to get it to the inside. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. was loose but the offense got it back he shoots from the top of the key off the rim and no good both teams looking to get things going here that was a great great effort right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well on the outside the power forward takes the pass he looks at the hoop Turns it over. Obvious, but the basket catch for the deuce, and they'll send him to the line. He's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the made basket the meat or the potato stick? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line for the gravy. He'll get one shot. Hits that one. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Trying to draw some contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Woods is emotionally pumped up. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Now they work it around the perimeter. Way out on top, and his shot rejected. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket, can't get the shot to go. Looking for a good shot. And he'll kick it back outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Opportunity here. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> they strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Up and in. 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground there. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. They're working around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. They work the perimeter. Edwards pounded on his way up. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. It's the first. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Gets the rejection. Gave it up. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Knocks it down. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Will take the shot. Nice shot. Coming inside. From left of the circle, sinks the shot. Great anticipation defensively. There's a high screen. Look how speed, I tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Looks at the three. Utah State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Both teams looking to get things going here. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Number 40 makes the shot. And one too many dribbles and a steal. They run it up into transition. Goes up for two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Steals a pass. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Picks off the lazy pass. They're working around the perimeter. 
Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries for two. The lane. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they are. Yeah, that helps. Basket falls despite the contact. Moving it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the outside, he's open if he wants the shot. And they get the turnover. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. Look at that spacing. Fakes it. On the dribble, gives it up. Outside jumper. He gets that one to fall. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> On the inside. Steal. Nice fake. He tries a jump hook. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Got the shot if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job with the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork, it's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. For two, he buries it. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. And moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Looking for a good shot. away the pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. There's the fake. They go with the 
entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Takes the board. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up for it. On the outside, he's got some room. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to command the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Wide open for the shot. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. team to stop it. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the free throw line. Opportunity. He hits his first. Free throw is good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. They're working around the perimeter. He intercepts it. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. There was no doubt about that one. Two for one up. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Way off target. Looking for the foul. Easy one. Let the replay show us the real deal. the post to go the other way. Good fake. Tries for two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Shot clock is dead. For two, perfectly executed. Now they work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint with a big shot, and he scores despite the half. At the half, the Aggies are ahead by five. What's your take on the EA Sports play of the half, partner? Hey, Brad, if I'm coach, I'd love to go in at half after a shot like this. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. Utah State was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Woods rips the offensive board. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle. Man. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For the bucket. I did a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Up and inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. For two, makes the shot. Steal. And now in transition going the other way. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. On the outside, top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I oh, am. Yeah. He makes it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Missed it. He gets the rebound. Work it around the arc. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. The Aggies have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Gets it back out. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Another turnover. I'm not talking about the turnovers either. He tries a jump hook. And off the mark. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Nix goes to the line for the first time. He hits the first. to make the free throw looking for contact he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper reverses the ball after having a guy in the post he shoots from long range Going to 
move it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Steals the pass. He'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Looking for a good shot. Step out on that screener. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Bucket, Grambling State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. High post screen. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet. Fading away, impossible to block. He intercepts it. He shoots from left of the circle. Got it. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Here we go on the break. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. And he scores it off the glass. The point guard receives the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And he'll kick it back outside. He puts up the tray, sinks it. Here's a double team. He fires away, rims out. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Nothing but nylon, NBN. He sinks both of them. Defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Mr. Nestle, easy bucket coming here. Up, easy one. The power forward receives the ball. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Nick, are they a little bit confused as to who's supposed to be where? That's my guess too, Brad. Time to pick up the defense here now. Working it around the perimeter. Too physical. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here's a flash from the post up high. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. 
There's a double team waiting there. With the fadeaway, off the rim and no good. Up, easy one. Controlling the ball. It's stolen. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. come with a double team to stop it. Grambling State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Picked off. Goes up for two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Gave it up. Great defense. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Let's go court set. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. All right, thanks, Aaron. Barnes handles the pass. Almost lost the basketball. He fires from long range. For two, perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Let's it fly. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensive. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Way off target. Puts it up, looking for contact. The lane. The fake. Intercepted. perimeter from the top of the key buries it with the fake executes the baby hook that's a great shot I don't understand why it's not utilized more often it's so impossible to block that shot like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. A chance for two. You can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situations. You got to be able to execute there. Good. A 
on the inside. There's the trap. He takes it away. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Takes away the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. With a sensational block. He went up and knocked it away. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. No one went to use timeouts as an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Double team now, bad angle. Steals the ball. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Cross court. Picks off the lazy pass. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Grambling State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. They move it into the front court. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. He intercepts it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Taken away. Here they go into transition. For the bucket. And in and out. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. Definitely a foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. He blocks the shot. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, right? Very important. Here's a double team. Strips the ball. Kicks it out. Jumped in front to take it away. Long lead pass. 
And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. With the free throw. Hits the first. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Second one is good. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Great defense. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Steele. It's a fast break possibility. Leans in. Holland makes the finger roll. Intercepted. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. out of the air. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Unloads. Off the mark. Picks off the lazy pass. That's basic. Picked off. This should be an easy two. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. He looks for the bomb. He nails the bucket. Nix handles the feed. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Let's see what happens here. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from long range. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid for New York, baby. Got a wide open look. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. Now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Makes the second. Ten-point lead. It's as big a lead as it sounds, Brad. He lets it go. He hits the shot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ballgame. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. 
So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Second shot, good. They want to talk about it right here, Dick. They got to find a way to chip it with his lead before it's too late. Players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Nine points is the difference now. A difference that can change in a heartbeat if you ain't careful, Brad. He unloads a three. Don't waste a lot of time. Foul right away. And yet another foul. With the free one. He makes the front end of the one and one. Gets the second. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. At the foul line. Makes the first shot. like in practice. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Fake. Try to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. in front to take it away. He tries the three. No good. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Grambling State graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.